What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to unbox a big statue from Dragon Ball Super um, and it is also one of my most anticipated statues this year His name is Goku made by Figure Class This statue will stand at 1-4 scale so I think it's gonna be huge um, I mentioned to you guys that I won't collect any more 1-6 Dragon Ball statues simply because I have um, a couple of them already and I'm running out of space but anyways, um, this form of Goku is when he finally achieved that Master Ultra Instinct you know, with the flashy diamonds effect flying everywhere or some shit He's looking all cool and calm, you know, after he awakened this power all of his moves are like battle instinct But anyways, now I'm gonna show you guys the box so you guys can see a picture of him at the front of the box this is the awakening version. This statues come with two versions, by the way, and this is like a simple pose with him standing after he awakened this master ultra instinct. Um, the version that I got is the uh, energy ball version, which is on this side. You guys can see the actual statue itself. So uh, this is the first time that we saw him using the energy ball, um, other than just with the move set like kicking and punching. But anyways. Here is the statue of him. So now I'm gonna get to the unboxing and I'll see you guys afterwards so I can talk more about this statue. Peace out everybody. Alright guys, I'm back and that was an unboxing of Master Ultra Instinct Goku Energy Ball version made by Figure Class from Dragon Ball Z at 1 4 scale. Whew, I'm running out of breath here. <laughs> but anyways, as you can see, he is huge with a blue and white-ish aura all around him. I'm amazed by the details that we will put onto this base. You know, you have this black on the base right here. And the fire effect you know because this is an explosive battle you know that's why the um, rocky fiery explosion everywhere and then this you know weird shape of rocks you know stacking up you have Frieza on the left right here hanging out after he got beat up by Jiren you guys probably noticed that he is missing a halo 
um, because he got brought back to life to fight this tournament. But uh, they include this little, you know, sticker that you guys can just stick on Frieza's head to have that, you know, halo effect look. But I'm not gonna do that. And on your right, you guys can see this is Android 17. He got beaten up pretty bad as well, so he just, you know, resting, looking up at Goku, achieving this freaking Master Ultra Instinct, Diamondist effect everywhere, you know, blinking, rocks flying, whatever. But yeah, now I'm gonna give you guys some close up look. I forgot to mention that this statue comes with a light up feature, which I'm gonna plug it in right now. Here's the power cord, and this head right here also has an LED light in it, but it requires an LR41 battery, which I don't have. I'm gonna have to get it you know, soon. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it right here, plug it in the lighter feature for this base. All right, now that the lighter feature got plugged in, I'm gonna start with the base. But first, check out how cool this, you know, Certificate of Authenticity right here. You know, flashy because when Goku achieved this form, he got this flashy effect all around. And behind, as you can see, I have number 373 out of 777 pieces. Energy Ball version, bigger class. But yeah, awesome, awesome card. So now let's start at the bottom of the base. As you can see, here is the Dragon Ball Super logo. Black base under, and this fiery effect, you know, all around. I think this is not meant for the base up here. It's just like a design for this black base, so it doesn't look plain and empty. It looks pretty cool, you know, all the shading, yellow, orange, and red-ish everywhere. And it goes all around. And now up to this rocky base. As you guys can see, this is a battle damage base. The ground up the tournament of power. You know, you have rock flying everywhere. Here as well, you know. And up at the left, you can see Frieza is chilling. He got his head down. <laughs> but yeah, this base is awesome looking, even without the aura. It looks very very cool you know you guys can see we have all different kind of light up effect um yeah purple blue and here you guys can see android 17 looking up at goku he is his full body really nice that they included these two small characters you know they don't have to but i really like when uh studio went all out for this scene and here is the moment of truth check out how cool this amazing light up feature is the aura effect you know you have rocks flying here is his boots at the bottom here is his pants you know all ripped up battle damage yeah i can see some textures in it as well but yeah I really like this shading. I understand that some people might not like it, but this shading on his pants really gives out that, you know, Master Ultra Instinct look. It went really well with this aura, blue aura right here. Rather than just a normal um, orange pants that he has, orange color. So really nice that they add a little white onto it and darken some areas. And on his right hand, this is the energy ball version. Uh, the other version, he only has his hand down. But I really like this pose better. Um, this thing also comes with a lighter feature. Also require, I think, an LR41 battery as well. But you can just put in it, you know, and this ball right here will light up. Like I say, I don't have the battery with me, so I'm not going to do it. But it looks super cool even without the lighter feature. And now onto his body. The shape of it looks very good. Just like in the anime, you have his chest 
all pumped up in his pecs, biceps, tricep, and everything. Even the freaking legs is like ripped. But yeah, um, you can see all the battle damage, slashes. The skin tone looks great. And this is one of my most favorite part about this statue is this face. Check out how cool and calm looking that is. You know, he got angry. Well, not really angry, but you yeah, can already tell that he has this amazing power sleeping inside him. And it comes with an additional light up head, like I say over here. So yeah, those are the close-up look on Goku. Now I'm gonna turn off some light so you can see it better in the dark. All right, there we go. The statue light up feature in the dark looks super cool. You guys can see all different angles. Frieza, you guys can see Android 17 right behind it. Very, very awesome looking light up feature. I'm gonna put on the other head right now and then I'll shine some light to it so you guys can see uh, how it looks in the dark. Even without the battery inside, you guys can still see his lit up hair. Wow. And here is how it should look with the battery inside. It looks even better if I turn off the background light. And now I'm gonna try it one more time. Wow, look at this amazing, amazing statue. Um, you guys can see, like I say, all different angles of the base, Goku's body, his pants, his lit up hair, um, the head, the face, everything. Frieza, Android 17. You can see everything in the dark. So cool looking. This statue without the light up feature looks pretty amazing as well. I don't plan to leave it on. I never do in any of my statues simply because I want to preserve these little light bulbs right here. And I think that the light up function is just for a show out reason. Uh, whenever I have guests in my house, I will turn them on so they can amaze and blue their mind. But yeah, uh, normally all my light up are off. But anyways, I'm um, really glad to be able to add this one for scale of Goku. Yeah. His current strongest form, you know, Master Ultra Instinct. One of my favorite form of him with the Super Saiyan 3 being my most favorite form ever in Dragon Ball. I forgot to say that this Master Ultra Instinct aura is pretty hard to do um, to turn it into a statue. But Figure Class nailed it, in my opinion. Um, because when I look straight at the front, I can feel that this statue looked just like in the anime when he first, you know, achieved this form right here. With this, you know, aura, rocks flying up at the top everywhere. This combined it with the lighter feature. It's trying this statue straight up to Goku's hair and the energy ball and his pants, the white and darkened area shading to give out this ultra instinct feel once again but overall this statue is like a complete package um, i think it's one of my favorite statue now so the normal version of this statue only comes with this head right here i have to pay like 35 dollars extra to get this lit up uh, optional head so yeah thank you everybody for watching me unboxing this <sighs> here goes master ultra instinct goku energy ball version made by figure class from dragon ball z God damn it, why did I say Dragon Ball Z? I'm gonna try again. Master Ultra Instinct Goku Energy Ball version made by Figure Class from Dragon Ball Super at 1 4 scale. Yes! And now I'm gonna give you guys some close up look. Please subscribe for more unboxing and more review. I will try to bring you guys even more statue Naruto, One Piece, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, Attack on Titan. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up, you know, it really helped me pump out more content for you guys. Also, let me know in the comment section which part about this statue you guys like the most. The base, um, the rocky base, the aura, the ladder feature, the head, the body, whatever. And then I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out everybody. Goodbye.